Another common use for a for loop is to combine it with an if statement and determine how many times something is true. For example, now I'm going to write a program that gets a list of numbers from students and then finds out how many scored above 90 and then count them and returns the final result. So let's get started. I will open our test and here I create scores, a variable that I'm going to put the numbers inside. So let's go 30, 65, 91, 87, 56, 93, 82, 99, and 90. So this is our score. And then I create a variable called count because we need to count our numbers. And initially we put it zero to make sure that there is no previously written value inside that variable. In next line, we start our for loop. So for our index will be k1 from, start from one up to how many numbers we do have in this vector. We're going to count it automatically through length function scores. And then we want to tell that we're not interested in all the numbers. We're only interested in those above 90. If scores of k were above 90, then count equals count plus 1. What does it mean? It means that if the numbers were, if the scores were above 90, count them. Then we go to end and next end. Because we had a, an if and we had a for, we needed two ends. Next, we're going to display the result. Display count. We finished writing our program that receives a number, starts counting the numbers and evaluating them, whether they're above 90 or not, and then returns the result. So let's run the program and see what happens. Right now we do have 91, 93, 99, and 90. However, 90 is not above 90, it's equal to. So let's run it. When I run that, the result is 3. And that's, that was what we expected because 90 is not counted. So let's go here and change this to equal sign. If I do that, this time the result is going to be 4. Another thing that we can test here is that maybe you think that why we need a score of k. Let's go with the scores because the scores are recorded here. If the scores were above 90, let's see what happens. As you see, the value is 0. So what's the problem? It's very important to note that this k is the same k as index. So what it does, it makes sure that we're going to search through every single number inside our scores and not just the whole score as a vector. If you don't do that, MATLAB takes the score as a vector and doesn't investigate each single part of it. By putting K, we make sure that MATLAB understands each single individual scores and count them one by one. So by now, it's four. Let me bring this to 81. And if I hit enter, you see that the result is counted to three. It's a very good and easy example that we can use to firmly understand the purpose and the syntax of MATLAB executing four and if statements together.